learn to handle or get rid of guilt. Why do I feel guilty? Many of us enjoy dressing up, spending a long time trying on clothes, stockings, or lingerie. We can spend hours practicing makeup. If we have new shoes, we are likely to try them on with all our outfits, and after almost half a day of self-contemplation, there may be no desire for self-gratification. It's very normal. We have so much excitement for ourselves, so much tension to bring out. We feel so delighted and happy with our feminine appearance that some end up playing around with themselves and after having an amazing time, the inevitable happens, a great sense of guilt sets in. It's a heavy guilt, so much so that we even propose to ourselves and promise never to dress as a woman again. That guilt can be removed, and in this video, we are going to help you get rid of the guilt. Where does that guilt come from? The guilt comes from the idea of a person we have of ourselves. From our male ego, we want to believe, we cling to an ideal where we are men, where we don't have to do everything we do. Unconsciously, and sometimes consciously, we want to avoid the problem of not being normal forget about everything we feel, and abandon it all. After all, I only need it to satisfy myself we think. We believe or want to believe that we can stop being who we are. Maybe we're not even trans. After all, it's a big step to take. We don't want to be singled out. It's not easy to accept being trans and live your life under your own judgment. I reiterate, with guilt, we believe we are normal. It deceives us. Guilt even motivates us to throw all our things for women away. Makeup, clothes, lingerie, shoes. We think we are men, we force ourselves to believe that we are. You should know that this guilt stems from a momentary satisfaction. By dressing up and gratifying ourselves, your mind and body may feel rewarded and satisfied, perhaps even tired from spending so much time dressing up. But the truth is a bit deceptive. The orgasm you have after dressing as a woman or wearing feminine clothes is very powerful and intense. It is a tension-releasing force that has a very satisfying power but tricks the mind. It deceives you because it makes you believe that it is all you need and that you no longer need to be a woman. You may come to believe that you only dress up for that purpose of self-gratification. The transgender spectrum is so broad that here is a question to be asked. Do you dress up for that purpose? If so, then it would just be another case of fetishism with no greater consequence than that guilt. But if you are not a fetishist, you don't know what to do, and you truly find it bothersome to feel that unpleasant sensation. I invite you to keep listening to this audio that will help you free yourself from that guilty feeling. Don't worry if you don't understand all the words, it's better that way, as they will be strongly planted in your unconscious. When you feel guilt, it's the moment when you have to remind yourself that you are not you are doing not it doing for it self gratification. Remember, Remember who you are. You are, you are a transgender woman, woman, and, and that will never go away. away. The day the will day never will come never when you don't, don't need to live as a woman. Repeat, Repeat to yourself, yourself okay, 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 I indulged okay, myself, myself, but that doesn't, doesn't take, take away my continuous my need to be a woman to be all the time. I might want to take off what I'm wearing right now, remove my makeup, but I won't. This is this how is I will stay. stay. Nothing, Nothing can take, take away my absolute, absolute need to live my life as the woman I am. Not even the satisfaction I just experienced. If you feel guilty, do nothing. Almost every time we feel guilty, almost impulsively we take everything off. Don't change, don't take off your clothes. Stay like this, do nothing, if you want. Don't even think about anything. I assure you the guilt will go away. Stay like this, dressed as a woman, or in your panties. Stay for about 15 minutes. I swear the guilt will go away. I assure you that if you stay as you are, the desire to continue and keep being a girl will return. Once you get rid of the guilt, there are few obstacles left that can really stop you in your transition. You dress as a woman because you need IT with all your soul. Because your soul is feminine, you were born with a woman's soul. Inside you, there is a woman who will always remind you of who you are. As soon as you feel guilty, you must repeat to yourself that no matter how much more comes afterward, or how much you think you want to stop feminizing yourself, 
You don't want that. You want to be a woman. You want to be yourself. No matter how much you try, you will never stop needing to dress as a woman. And it is better for your mind and your body to accept it. Nothing can change you. The reasons why you know you are a woman are more important and more imposing than any other reason. You don't do it for a moment of self-satisfaction. You do it because one day you will live like this all the time, and you need it. You need to dress as a woman. You need to see yourself as a woman. You need to be loved as a woman. You need to be possessed as a woman. You need to speak like a woman. You need to move like a woman, laugh like a woman, cry like a woman, and even cough like a woman. You need to live as a woman, as the woman that you are and have always been. That need is immense, it is huge, and there is no possible self-satisfaction to eliminate it. You will never stop dressing as a woman because that is who you are. That is your ideal, that is what your soul desperately seeks, that is the purpose of your life. There is no more, no shame that can silence this need to unleash your femininity. There is no guilt, guilt does not exist in anyone. This is who you are, feminine and beautiful. You are a girl, a woman, a teacher, a witch, a counselor. You are the most beautiful in the world. You are a woman.